Hi everyone. Welcome back to Shout Out to Books channel where we discuss anything everything related to books, stories, fun plot and what not. And today I am going to talk about one of my recent read. I actually finished it yesterday itself. The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Kelly Barnhill is an American author predominantly she writes children fiction and uh, this is one of her novels that she has uh, i think written in 2017 it has also received newbery medal in 2017 if you check the reviews of this book on goodreads also you'll find that it has great reviews i believe that when you know when parents or guardians are selecting books for uh, their children or kids it's like they have to be very careful because great kids have great memory they have great imagination so to cultivate it further in a positive way they must select the right books for them so what is in the story this is a story of a witch uh, there is this place kingdom called protectorate where people are you know people believe that uh, every time every year the youngest child from the village or the from the kingdom has to be sacrificed to a witch and what they do is they leave this child in the woods for which to find and there are some sort of stories going on in the village or in the in the town in the uh, kingdom that you know uh, this witch is very wicked but nobody knows what she does with these kids on the other hand which is actually a good person okay when she finds these kids she thinks maybe these people are abandoning their own kids and what she does is she picks these kids she travels across the forest to other cities which are free cities and she leaves them to you know to the adoptive parents and they they are living actually happily there and along the way on the way uh, to free cities what she does is to feed the kids she uses the stars so these are called the star kids one day there is a girl child who is left in the woods for her to find and what happens is this witch uh, picks this baby on the way while feeding uh, her you know while feeding the child accidentally she, instead of using star she uses moon so she enmagics this child because the magical kids are dangerous as per which what she does is she decides to raise this kid this baby girl as her own and she names this little girl as luna so this luna has you know magic inside her and it is glowing through her screen also and what happens next is the story of this book so there are the you know there is there is a connection of this little baby to some other mad woman in the town there is this crescent moon sign on the head forehead of this baby what i liked about this book is the luna is mentioned to be colored child okay generally what we imagine in the fairy tale is always fair skinned fairy or it's not like that luna is she is a little bit dusky when you imagine her she is in a dusky color and as per me this is something that is very important that kids understand at the very young age it's a way for parents to not letting their kids to have the stereotype okay you are sort of fighting with the stereotypical thinking or the writing in a way when you are giving this book to your kids this book has monsters in it it has uh, witches of course it has volcano it has forest it has a, a dragon okay little dragon is also shown here if you see so it has many things and it has that particular scope for kids to imagine it has a larger scope for imagination along with that this book also teaches kids uh, a value of being good a value of forgiving a value of hard work and to not judge someone on the basis of their looks because there is this character in this book which is uh, called as uh, anten and that person has many scars on his face that people are quite scared of him whereas he is a positive character i love children fiction and there is much more wisdom in children fiction as compared to adult books which is which is an interesting fact and the writing style of this book is so beautiful you know it is so engaging Uh, in fact i believe that along with the kids you know adult also need this kind of books uh, through fantasy it teaches lot of things so if you got a kid at home uh, from age 9 to 12 this book is ideal for them and if you think that you know um, a writing will be bit complicated for them even 12 plus uh, kids will be you know engaging into this this is a so beautiful story give it a try and let me know in the comment section how did you find my recommendation did any kid like it when you recommended when you gifted him or her this book thank you for watching it till the end have a great day ahead see you in the next video